I'm writing you this thing, prescription, and then, oh wow, one of your eyes is worse than the other. How realistic is that, if you think about it? That your biology is one of your legs noticeably longer than the other? Do you need thicker soles on one of your shoes than the other? Like, does your shirt have a longer arm than the other? Welcome back. Let's talk today about why your so-called quote-unquote prescription of clear curved pieces of plastic that you're not allowed to pick up yourself apparently according to retail optometry, why those two bits of clear pieces of curved plastic have different values for your left eye versus your right eye. Why apparently according to retail optometry one of your eyes is quote unquote better or worse than the other. Now, it's very likely that if you look at your so-called prescription that you have different numbers for the left and right eye. Not all people do, but the majority of people who get lens correction have different numbers left and right eye. Now that should make you wonder if you know this on a, in a larger context that most everybody who gets glasses doesn't have the right values left and right side, why is that? Is one of your eyes worse or better than the other? According to retail optometry and the sage geniuses that inhabit it, this is the case. It's the case, if you think about it, that most people on planet Earth who make the fateful mistake of stepping into a retail optometry establishment are found to have two eyes, one of which is working better than the other. Is our biology flawed? is my question. This isn't speculation. This isn't some far-flung internet unicorn farming theory. This is purely facts, right? You walk into the optometrist, they mess around with the foropter and they're like, yeah, well, left eye, right eye, do you see better this way? Do you see better that way? Blah, without telling you what diopters they're dialing in because it's none of your business what they're putting in front of your eyes. And they dial it in and they dial it in and they write down your quote-unquote prescription, which is literally a sales sheet to sell you some fancy overpriced frames that are made in China most likely and some lenses that are that are making them 5,000% profit and writing you this thing prescription and then oh wow one of your eyes is worse than the other. How realistic is that if you think about it that your biology is one of your legs noticeably longer than the other? Do you need thicker soles on one of your shoes than the other? Like does your shirt have a longer arm than the other? Why is it curiously that when you walk into a retail optometry facility that you're quote-unquote diagnosed or sold glasses of different diopters for left and right eye. Am I drawing this out too long, honestly? The answer to all this is ocular dominance, something that you might want to look up in science publication, in vision biology books, online if you want to check it out, ocular dominance. This is something that retail optometry wholesale ignores on a shocking level and the basic premise is that one of your eyes is in fact has in fact higher acuity than the other you can see a little bit further with one eye than the other you focus a little bit faster with one eye than the other and this is normal functioning biology i mean it's normal to the point that the word ocular dominance mean one of your eyes is dominant right it, it takes a dominant role in the process of vision. Now, we don't know why. Modern science has not figured out, as modern as it wants to be, has not figured out why this is the case. It has, however, figured out that it is the case. And this going back to the previous bit, my rant about retail optometry is, when they give you glasses, they should realize that one of your eyes is dominant. So therefore, there is no need to give you higher correction for your non-dominant eye because that is normally functioning vision biology, right? Like if you've got, you go in for your first pair of glasses and you're getting a minus 1.5 left eye and minus 1.25 right eye, that's wrong, right? Because all that's happening there in the so-called exam is they're finding which of your eye is expressing dominance. That's it, that's it, right? Like your 1.25 eye, is your dominant eye, normal. So now if you were gonna get correction that reproduces your natural focal plane, you will get 1.25 left eye and 1.25 right eye because that would take into account the normally functioning biology that includes ocular dominance. 
Now, the reason I'm making this long story and hopefully it didn't lose you to this point is to illustrate that retail optometry is filled with idiots. I shouldn't say that. I should find more polite ways to express these things. Retail optometry has a different take on how biology works than actual reality, right? Actual reality is if you, if you find somebody who's got perfectly healthy, functioning, normal, non-myopic vision, they're going to have a dominant eye. They're going to have one eye that sees further, faster, clearer than the other. There's nothing wrong with that. So if somebody's correcting the non-dominant eye higher, in effect, they're not understanding biology. They're not understanding the very basics of vision biology, which is part of what's incredibly frustrating to me because a little bit of digging, I mean, you spend a couple of days learning about the basics of vision biology, then the basics of modern so-called prescription, AKA actually sales tactics, make no sense. They're telling you that these people don't understand the very basics of biology. And while we don't know why your eyes are built this way, they are built this way. So now what the optometrist does is he disrupts the normal functioning of your eye by overcorrecting the non-dominant eye. We still don't know what ocular dominance is for, but we're going to have to assume, fairly speaking, that when you disrupt normally functioning biology, that that doesn't probably net positive outcomes. I don't know what the outcome is. All I know is if your feet, if your legs are the same length and somebody puts higher soles on one than the other, that's probably not going to be good for you, right? No need to. So. It's, it's to me it's frustrating and, and, and the first time you get glasses when you walk in somewhere first of all it's pseudomyopia like first of all you shouldn't be getting glasses in the first place right but if you were to anyway left and right eye in most cases would be the same if there's a quarter dot the difference whoever writes you a so-called prescription aka actually sales sheet with a 0.25 dot the difference between left and right eye in my non-professional, non-accredited, humble estimation, should be slapped in the face, right? Because my question would just be, what about ocular dominance, right? Like, one of my eyes is supposed to see further, faster, quote-unquote, better than the other. It's designed that way. Why are you messing with it, right? Why? So, that makes no sense. It's important to know the problem, the problem that really emerges with this is if this is done continually. You're getting progressive myopia. Your myopia is increasing because of the minus lenses that these geniuses put in front of your eyes. Now, you're gonna start getting a larger diopter ratio when you're addressing one eye focal plane different than the other eyes, right? Like if you're overcorrecting the non-dominant eye, that's gonna lead to more myopia progression potentially to, to, a, certain, to a certain extent. So what you might find now is that if you're at, for example, a minus four, right? There's minus four in one eye and minus 4.75 in the other, right? That, that ignored fact about ocular dominance and overcorrecting the non-dominant eye now leads to this increasing diopter gap, taking you further and further away from a natural focal plane, exacerbating the problem of myopia by now making it a complex focal plane correction. And that's not even talking about cylinder correction, astigmatism, which equally, I could rant on for a long time about, but just the ocular dominance. Now, when, when you're improving your eyesight, when you're working on reversing myopia, you have to address this. You don't address it immediately. If you're watching this and you don't know the bigger picture of how doctors affect your vision, don't go monkeying around with lenses. I'm not giving you advice here, certainly, because I'm not allowed to say anything because you have to have a license to sell lenses to talk about stuff apparently, because this is incomprehensible to us mere mortals. But what I am saying is learn more and understand. Don't monkey around with lenses. Just because you watch this video, don't go like left eye, right eye is the same. If there's been years of lens interference in your natural vision, then you can't just tomorrow reset that. That's not gonna work out too well. Which brings us to the next topic of how to address ocular dominance in a positive way when you're reducing your myopia which is going to be in the pro topic second part of this video, which is also free, but not posted publicly on YouTube. It's available through our forum in the how-to guides of our forum, pro topic video. If you're not a member of the forum, you can find it from nmyopia.org. At the top, there's a link to the quiz. 
which you have to answer the questions correctly, that you're showing that you understand the basics of MIOP, you can for free get into the form, and from there you can download the video where we discuss how to address ocular dominance in the perspective of reversing the myopia and reducing that diopter ratio hint slowly over time. Hopefully this is a helpful introduction. The goal of this is just to get you thinking. The goal of this, to those of you who are curious, is to open a biology book or pop up a Google search and start looking at scientific reality, biological reality, versus what people are doing to your eyes. I'm not saying anything other than explore the facts and then question whether the things that people sell you make logical, factual, biological sense or not. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. Find the ProTopic video in the Le Miao forum. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Meow, 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 meow.